Hi, this is a short video that shows how to divide. In this example, we are trying to divide 355 by 2. 2, the number with which we divide, is known as a divisor. 355, the number that we are dividing into, that, that is being divided, is known as the dividend. The answer that we will get is called the quotient, and the number at the end, which is not further divisible, is called the remainder. So how do we divide? We say the two times table and see when do we get 3 or a number that is closest to 3. So in this case 2 times 1 is 2. We cannot use the next number that is 2 times 2 because 4 is greater than 3. We either need 3 or less than 3. So 2 times 1 is 2. Once we have got that we subtract 2 from 3. So here we have 3 minus 2 is 1. Once here we are done dealing with the first digit of the number. And we and after subtraction we got 1 as an answer. So again we try to deal with 1 here and we say the 2 times table. Do we get 1? No, we don't. So in this case what do we do is we bring the next digit down and place it next to 1. So here we get 15. Now we say the 2 times table and when do we get 15? So 2 times 7 is 14, which is closest to 15. So the number should be closest to the number that we are expecting or it should be smaller than the number that we are dealing with. So 2 times 7 is 14. Again we do a subtraction, 15 minus 14 is 1. Again 1, when we say the 2 times table we don't get 1. So we bring the next number the next digit down. So here again we get 15, so 2 times 7 is 15, uh, sorry, 2 times 7 is 14, and 15 minus 14 is 1 again, which is not further divis divisible by 2. We don't have any, any more digits, so that's the end of this division, and here we have the answer, or the quotient as 177, and 355 is the dividend, 2 is the divisor and the remainder is 1. So this was kind of a simple division. Let's look at a little bit of diff little bit different division over here. In this case what's happening is um, let's see what happened here. 6 times 1 is 6. So it is 642 being divided by 6. We say 6 times 1 is 6. So we are done dealing with one number, sorry, one digit over here. 6 minus 6 is 0. Now the next digit we bring down it's 4 but when you say the 6 times table we don't get a 4 so what do we do we bring the next digit down here so when we bring two digits down we place a 0 in the quotient so 6 times 1 is 6 and then 4 cannot 4 does not help we bring down 2 here so that makes it 42 6 times 7 is 42 and the remainder is 0. Some people like my son says because 4 is smaller than 6 times 1 is 6 and 4 is smaller so what do we do is 6 times 0 is 0 so we place a 0 over there which is another way to think about think of. So either ways this is how you do a division wherein one division one digit does not help in getting the answer. Alright, hope you like this video. Thank you so much.